Wow. It's Akuma. Alright. So, I already lied this character a little bit, and the very first trial is a TC that I didn't know he had. So I just finished looking, and I found another TC I also didn't know he had. So neither of those are my notes yet, which is kind of funny. Alright, it's uh, Manon's little TC, actually. I already saw in the little command list that it's an overhead. Uh, no, cancel. But obviously, cancel the first hit. Can't even cancel the first hit with Horde's Fierce. Or at least not into Drive Rush or Specials, maybe Super. I'll do that labbing once I actually have some super meter. Oh look, the TC wants me to do it. I mean the trial. Um, during a jump, hard kick, down hard kick. This is it, this is the bodega combo. Down medium kick, fireball. Hell yeah, found that one. Down medium punch, into his new special move. I was trying to make sense of what the heck this thing is for. Um, it's plus three, it's kind of cool. In corners, the heavy one is pretty good. Um, the EX one is also pretty good in corners. It's a bit weird, like, you don't, it's not very combo friendly. You can't do, like, DP or super or anything there, I don't think. You can in the corner. Um, I don't know when you would use the lighter medium one. Definitely a crutching opponent is tempting, but you've always got, like, enders into DP on crutching opponents, so, you know. Oh, look, this is an ender into DP right here. Here's Akuma's little TC into Heavy Uppercut. I was thinking about that versus like heavy Tatsu versus, you know, other things. You can do like the medium, this guy looks flat worse than heavy DP or heavy Tatsu. I think, I, I didn't even lab a, a DM flip cancel, doesn't look good. Um, what else can he do there? Can he teleport away? Can't cancel to teleport. Sad. That makes sense. Um, okay, so we've got a crumple into hard punch into the any version of the, it doesn't care. I think you would certainly use the heavy version in this context, but I did the light version. Um, Mid-screen, I don't think you get any kind of juggle. Oh, it's a... Alright, so I labbed this a little bit earlier. You can actually do back hard kick here. That might have me doing that in a later trial. And then from there, you've got a little bit of freedom. Oh, it's light, light DP there. I don't know if this is what Akuma players are going to do. Uh, that does work, I promise. I thought it worked. I took it out. I only labbed it on hit. It'd be funny funny if it didn't work on block. Alright, well, we've always got his little double towards hard punch TC, I guess. And then I presume this just, like... Okay, yeah. Not a cancel. Okay. Turn jump, hard punch, stand hard punch. And then, um, his little hard launcher guy. I'm glad that it's not going to anything, because I couldn't find anything to go into. Not even, like, Drive Rush stuff works here. It's too slow. Um, nice little low confirm. You can use crutching DP motions to make those easier. Uh, I found this. This is a pretty bog standard confirm for him. It'd be difficult to not find that. Um, found this too. This is also a pretty bog standard confirm. I find it a little interesting that it's recommending the Sweep Ender. I know that for a lot of ranges, you can actually fall out and then um, DP and Heavy Tatsu will whiff, but Sweep still works. But Sweep has an impressive loss in damage, so you'd really rather use the other two, I think, if you could help it. People do seem to like the Oki of Sweep, but I think you also get good Oki on Heavy DP, so, you know, I would do Heavy DP if it's me. Heavy Tatsu is actually the strongest of the three, but I didn't actually lab what the Oki's like yet. I cut out the entire Light Tatsu there. Looks like the Oki would be good, but maybe if they back roll. Um, okay, so this is a charged fireball combo. Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah, you can do those too. Oh, I did... Um, <laughs> well, I'm adding the, the guard crush for no reason, but I did the, not the ender it is expecting me to do. Heavy Tatsu is the highest damage, and they all have the same Oki in the corner, so Heavy Tatsu seems like it would be good. Um, okay. It's the Air EX Tatsu. This only costs a single drive meter to do... Whoa, 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 whoa. Two EX moves. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, no, it's not interesting. The demon, the teleport takes priority over the um, the other special moves. So if you're trying to do with three kicks the EX Tatsu, you'll get the teleport. Which is, I use a macro, so that's how I usually get them. And then EX Demon Flip as well. But you can't cancel out the teleport, so in those contexts, um, you'll get the special moves. It's important to remember. Uh, so back heavy kick into EX Demon Flip into EX Air Tatsu. And then EXDP. Okay. 
pretty straightforward. Usually you can get heavy DP in that context, not always. Air EX Tatsu, it depends on the height which you connect with the opponent. Um, but after a back hard kick, I think it's good to get heavy. I think it's enough. High enough to get heavy DP. So we got a counter hit combo here. That's nice and nice and ordinary. And then an EX... Yeah, so for this one, for the ground version, you only get medium DP there. Heavy's too slow. Medium's only one frame faster, but that one frame's the difference maker in that context. Um, oh, starting the combos with this. Okay, I actually don't have that in my notes yet. It's not like I finished the Akuma Guide or anything. Um, so this is normally, what, plus three or something, I think? And this should make it, like, plus seven. But I think that's slower than seven, so I think my frame data is not right. I gotta lab that. Um, that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's quite a lot of damage to immediately link into down hard punch. So if you can start combos with this, I gotta put that in my notes. Starting your punish combos with Corsair Black Heavy Punch. I gotta lab these two as well, just in case it's also decent. The damage is quite good. I'm actually impressed. The damage for the first hit is pretty nice. Um, anyway, let's do the actual combo. Okay. It's my first time seeing these. During a jump, hard kick, stand hard kick, then the TC. I actually don't have that in my notes. I've just been using medium kick after the after the hard kick. I should like keep in mind that that works. TC is not super weak. I gotta lab various combos to see if it actually lowers damage or raises it. 1300 is, is okay compared to the 700 for medium kick. That might actually raise damage to use the TC. Anyway, let's do the combo. So this is an EX one. So we're getting the mid-screen version of the wall splat. And then we're doing a super because it's the only thing that's going to combo in time. Okay, that was a bit slow. I don't know if my screen position matters that much. I might need to be like, you know, a little closer. You might need to be somewhat close to the wall. Uh, heavy punch. And then the EX splat. Then the level 2. Back heavy kick into demon flip kick into heavy tatsu. Pretty cool little combo, actually. So let's see here. Heavy kick into EX splat. Whoa, heavy punch into EX splat. So this could be anything into EX splat. This doesn't, it doesn't matter. Heavy punch is just low scaling, which is nice here. Uh, I cancelled it. You can probably just juggle it. And that, I didn't have to move, thankfully. I didn't try to cancel it or anything. I just, I thought I'd be out of range. And then... Pop, pop, pop. That looks pretty straightforward. This should be easy. Uh, did I lose a hit? Hold on. That's four hits for the first hit of the super. No wrong move. Yeah, yeah, I lost a hit by canceling. Oh, whoa, whoa, ah, 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 I didn't get the wall splat. Only one wall splat per combo? Is that what's going on here? Alright, this requires further investigation. I think I already knew of a context where you could get multiple wall splats per combo. It was with this, and then I think into one of the others. There's another wall splat. Okay, so the rules are just vague. Um, only one of that kind of wall splat per combo. Anyway, let's do the trial. Uh, this is actually going to fall out, right? Or is it? No, I think he didn't wall splat in time. Yeah! Okay, so... You can cancel... Uh, you can cancel that hit, but you can actually cancel this hit, and that happens before the wall splat happens. I noticed that earlier. Um, normally this move like sends the opponent across the screen, but if you... Uh, wrong motion. If you cancel the level, they take a little while before they shoot across the screen, so if you cancel the super you'll actually hit them before they start moving. Anyway, so this is optimal. A little, a little early, and then a little late. I gotta mention that in my video and make sure people do it right. Cool. I just smashed hard kick and it worked. Uh, drive parry overhead. That's a pretty bog standard starter. And it looks like it's at least plus seven because we get medium kick. And then we get a Drive Rush from Medium Kick, which I didn't actually lab because I haven't labbed this Drive Rush combos yet. Um, but it looks like post uh, Drive Rush into Heavy Kick's 
about what you would expect, and then Crutch Heavy Punch from there. Yeah, that's just what I would have tried. Can we do Sand Heavy Punch, or is it too slow? We can. Probably doesn't matter too much one, which one we use. Uh, heavy Kick already forces Stand. Crutch Heavy Punch is stronger, actually. Yeah, it's 900 versus 800. I did love that. Alright, let's see here. Ooh. And then a uh, level 3 cancel. So we got this. And then that. That should be pretty easy. Why did I say anything? What went wrong there? Down, down, forward, forward, down, forward, down, down, forward. I hit heavy kick one frame early, but... Um, it should have still worked, I think. Because I got the Kara. It was one frame. I'm going to have a really hard time replicating that. Yeah! Kara doesn't save me there. That's weird. Are all characters like that? Anyway. Yay, we did all his intermediate trials. Alright, what else we got? Okay, Air EX Fireball. Probably we need a low one. Oh, Drive Rush. And then back heavy punch. I mean, back heavy kick. I've noticed that when you do it like an instant air one, it waits till he's the right height, which is kind of cool. Um, and then Demon Flip Dive, and then Medium Tatsu. I found Demon, uh, Medium Tatsu is the most reliable thing there. So this actually matches my notes. Yeah. That's pretty straightforward. Um, he can link into his 5 frame stand like kick. I didn't actually love that yet. And then we've got a Drive Rush. Crouch, light punch, punch, hard punch, pretty nice link. He goes straight into a heavy. A lot of characters have to do a light, then a medium after a light drive rush. And then light top two. Crouch, heavy punch, force to stand, so this should work on anyone. Doesn't matter if they're crouching. And then, uh, oh, light top to super one. That's the optimal way of landing super one, if you don't have any other investments. That was a little fast and then a little slow. Might be late. I'm still a little used to doing the forward taps. I'm a little weird with it. That looks good. Cool. Mmm. Air super. I haven't loved this at all. I forgot he had it. Wait. It's a different motion. I guess not the overlap with the um the punch. Punch super. I mean the air fireball. Okay. So drive parry, and then we've got the medium kick, heavy kick TC. Okay, I didn't lab this for shit. What's that doing the juggles? Okay, it's a lot like Monons actually. And then we're doing the level two wall splat, and then we're doing back heavy kick into EX Tatsu into EX uppercut. Pretty cool little combo. Should be not too hard depending on the struggle. Oh shit. Okay, so that doesn't cancel, right? Let's find out right now. Yeah, I'm just juggling. Okay. Three bar combo. That was a little late. Alright, I got this. Everything looks pretty simple about it. I think the height on this is not too strict. There we go. Easy peasy. Um, how many trials are there? Two more. Okay. And then the EX version. And then back heavy kick into an EX fireball hold. I didn't lab that. Alright. So it gets its full charge pretty quick. That looks damaging too. Um, and then we drive parry there. Into crutch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have a juggle for medium tattoo. I didn't know that worked. Okay, this changes everything. Are there other scenarios where... Oh, I got a wolf. I got a couple. Are there other scenarios where I can get the medium Tatsu and then the light DP?
I'm hitting wrong buttons. Oh, look at that! Uh, I need to look to see whether that's better than his other corner splat stuff. That's pretty good though, because you can get that from pretty far out. You could do like, I don't know, something like that. And then, well, I don't know. You'd have time to dash in is what I'm going to say. Uh, maybe not. You'd have time to walk in. Yeah. Okay, well, I gotta compare some damage. Uh, let's do the combo. So after I get the light DP, I have to cancel the level level 3. But that should be pretty easy, because light DP only barely works, which means I'm definitely going to connect at the minimum height. Ooh. Faster than I thought. I did, um... Heavy punch instead of back heavy kick. Don't know these timings. Gotcha. Pretty cool combo. Definitely warrants further investigation. And then what we got? Heavy kick after, oh, this also, you would also be able to do this link after a uh, punish gun or heavy kick. Because heavy kick leaves you point blank anyway. Right? Yeah, that's in range. So this doesn't have to be from a dry parry, this can also be from a punish counter. Um, so, oh, we're doing heavy punch, medium kick. What's the damage of that? 1500. So why don't we do that? Or rather, Crutch Hard Punch. Doesn't that seem kind of better? That's 2100. So I'm can canceling Crutch Fierce. Into that. Into that. Whoa. 2100, right? And it wants me to do... Whoa. Um... Yeah, that, why would I not go for another roundhouse? I think this combo's just like showing off a different route, but I think Stand Run House would be better. Should be Stand Run House, Slow Fierce, Drive Rush, Stand Run House, Slow Fierce, Drive Rush. And then I guess we're doing Medium Punch Down Heavy. I, it would still be better as another Roundhouse, I think. Because you can still go into like Low Heavy Punch from that. So I'm going to do my version of this combo. Demon! 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 That's why my health is low. I didn't even notice. Um, okay. Okay, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so... I don't know how strict it wants me to be. I don't know if I can go from... I don't know if I can go from forward to... Um, forward to down forward and have a count. Oh, it doesn't work anymore? It used to be that any forward direction counted as the forward of demons, so you could go, you, you could be holding forward and tap down forward. Ah, that's going to be annoying. Okay, never mind, it's going to be really easy. Um, okay, so let's do my version of the combo. And we're going to look at the damage, and then we're going to see the combo it wants me to do, and see if I get more. Because there could be a scaling thing I don't know about. 5773. Seven, seven, everyone remember that number. I say everyone, but this is just a local recording, so there's no one yet. Ah. Yeah. What was it? 5773? Something like that. Okay, so that's the purpose of that move. Oh, look at that! Higher damage, higher damage, higher damage. Higher damage spotted. So, one of these moves is adding more scaling. I gotta check the tapes. Um, but I've already got a hard kick in my combo. The super did the same damage. The super is gonna do 50% uh, no matter what. 
So the only thing that makes sense is that I was scaling my combo harder. So probably hard kick scales as two actions or something, or one and a half actions. So that should be pretty easy to lab. Um, Alright, well, trials are done.